What's up, YouTube? Sea Dog back with another Transformers Generation Studio Series review. This is on the 39 Cogman. So this is from the last night, and we'll check out the packaging really quickly. Quick look at the packaging shows that it is by Hasbro as well as Takira Tomy, Transformers Generations. You can see Cogman there in CGI. Number 39, Studio Series, Transformers The Last Night, Ages Ain't Up, Autobot, Cogman. Side has kind of a close-up of his head sculpt. The other side has a full image of his CGI headmaster mode. You got the Autobot symbol as well as an authentic Transformers symbol. And then on the back, Transformers in 19 Steps, Aston Martin. As the London Escape backdrop, and it says, While speeding through the streets of London, Cogman remembers to tell Sir Edmund Burton that Agnes called for a snuggle. You can see the cross cells there, and I have this review up. This one will be next. All right, so you got that on the top, little window last night, and then if you need to find the figure there. So inside the packaging you get an instruction booklet as you can see there deluxe cast deluxe class as well as the backdrop of the london escape so very nice little backdrop there i do appreciate that they don't have humans in the pictures here's what cogman looks like in front of the backdrop it looks better with the car mode and we'll use that as a screen grab but um but you can see in the background you have the european police car and the European cabs as well as the SUVs you can see back there that are crashing and of course Cogman himself is way bigger than he is in the movie Cogman outside of the packaging and before we continue I also want to remind you to click on the notification bell so you get all of my videos as they come in to check out my playlist and to share with your friends as well as follow me on Twitter link will be in the description below so, Cogman himself, uh, very cool, very cool, but as you can see, he does have a little bit loose legs, and they're better off when you're standing, not so great when you're trying to do a pose, and I'll show you what I mean. He's got these knees that just click there to there, and that makes it a little difficult, because you only get so much range, but to get a picture, plus is this, you have to pull down a little bit to get the sword, and we'll show you that in a minute, but. Um, just to get like a basic pose. Oops. There we go. It's not that easy, put it that way. Especially reaching, but it is possible. <laughs> and I did a lot better than this before, but you know. As you can see, it's got a little wobbling problems, but there you go. As you can see, it is holding the pose. You can see how I orchestrated the sword to be fit in all the way. And yes, there you go. Checking out the figure in detail, you can see the nice yellow gold paint on the head sculpt itself with some nice stark light blue eyes popping out as well as this nice bright silver metallic paint for the chest the shoulder pads the lower arms but they did leave a little out to kind of give this lining detail looks really nice you got some on the outer arms as well as on the lower legs on the sides and the insides as well and then on the back it's you know basically all the collared parts which is fully metallic silver as well so we'll show you more of that then um, taking a close-up of his head sculpt, even more of a close-up. Very nice details, very reminiscent of the last night Cogman. Of course, he never transformed into his car mode, but also looking at the details of his kind of gear, it's like a clock, winding clock piece or something with gears and bolts, Some a couple more gears up here. All these little details very nice looks good the paint's nice metallic yellow gold paint for the chest and the abdomen pieces you can see this figure is done up in a variety of silver plastics you have this darker gray kind of gunmetal 
colored plastic as well as this silver colored plastic. And then I think they use the darker color. Is it darker? No, maybe. I don't know. But looks nice. Some more of that darker up there as well as up in here. So it's basically, oh yeah, I think they use it to paint the silver on top of it is what I was going to say. Um, his two accessories he has is one is this. So this is the knight sword from the last night. And it's very cool. Black plastic hilt as well as sword that's painted over in this metallic silver on the blade. No hollowness except for there's a couple peg holes and we'll show you what those are for later. And like I said, you just want to kind of if you wanted to get it all the way down, you just move this down just a little bit. What I do is I push this down and then kind of wrap that around there. And it kind of holds onto it for these kind of things. Because otherwise, it's in there really loose. Otherwise, it pretty much... Well, it's not going to fall off now. Are you kidding me? But otherwise, it, yeah, of course it's not. <laughs> it did it for like 10 minutes straight. But <laughs> it will fall out. It, it's loose. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, it's got gray plastic for feet. Looking at the back of the details there. You can see the seats there on the back of his thighs. The wheels. See some of the lights and whatnot. This folds up like that. You can see there. For articulation, just going over really quickly um, before we do a comparison. You can kind of get a little bit of posing here on the neck. It kind of pops out. It's not as good as the Legend series Takara figures, but it does work a little bit. So you can get some motion like that. You get the jointed shoulder pads. Let me put that down. You get this bar right here that kind of goes up, so you can kind of push this out, go out about that far, and then with that bar, you can get out about that far. So not bad. You get the upper thigh or bicep swivel, 90 degree bend at the elbow. Nothing at the waist. You can kick pretty high up. Nice and far back. Not that far out. So. Seems to be you can go farther on this side. So I don't know. Maybe it's just the way. Uh, he does have this rotation up here. So that actually helps for posing. As you can see it only rotates that far. But it is there. And that helps to stand him. He also has a rotational point here. This little... That works like a thigh swivel. So between the two, you can get him to do sitting poses, you know, like Iron Man. <laughs> but yeah, it's right above the knee. And then I showed you the knee where it kind of goes like this. And you get that one click. And then he's got that kind of ribbing detail of the knee that clips in there. And you can see it pulls on that. So you kind of want to be careful, but it clicks there. And then you get one more click there, but you can mitigate it in the middle somewhere. Um, also, the foot moves up and down just a little bit, or down and up, however you want to word it. No ankle tilts, but it's molded at an ankle, or an angle, excuse me. Um, yeah, decent figure. I like the paint, and uh, let's check out a couple comparisons really quickly. We'll do it with uh, Ironhide first. Siege Ironhide, check out that review in one of my playlist the siege playlist he's a little bigger as you can see there he's quite a bit bigger actually but it's the way it looks probably and then you know prowl's the only other one i really got sitting here but if he was not posed he'd be still shorter than cogman actually i'll show you let's do it as well so yeah just a little bit shorter by how much? Uh, just a little bit. Maybe a quarter of an inch. So, transformation. You want to start off by... We're going to take this off. And this is the second accessory. Um, and we'll just put him down. Yeah, he does have loose legs. So, that's a bummer. But, checking out his face sculpt. We can close in there. See the nice gold paint painted on this gunmetal gray. And he's got three different color plastics, I do believe. Um, right? Maybe it's only two. 
looked like three in the video I was doing last time, but he does, that's him, his headmaster Cogman. You can, that's the first time I did that, because every other time it just kind of went out, but that was pretty bad. He can pull his arms out quite farther than some of the other Titans Returns figures. But, uh, and then of course he can articulate that and he can kind of go up and down with his head and back and forth. It just depends kind of how you're moving it. And of course he's locked in like this or like this. Pinned together, obviously. And that's Cogman Headmaster version. So to transform him, you want to start off by, we're going to do the arms to start. So you're going to go under here. Gonna pull this panel down, flip in the fist 180 degrees inside there, turn it on its side, and then you're gonna want to put there's a slot right there. You can see the tab right there, and then there's a little tab right here that goes behind this panel. So you slot that in like that, just clip it just together, just like that. Same thing on this side. Panel down, fist flipped in 180 degrees, attach that over like this. And thus we have the arms done. Next we do the legs. Rotate in 90 degrees. Start to pull out. Pull out this panel from a hinge that's inside. And if there's anything in the way, you, just, you can push kind of like this ankle part in. Right here, this part. If so if it's getting in your way, use that little part to get out of your way. Flip that panel out. Flip the foot in after. Then close off this part, rotate, or continue on, or do the same on the other side. Pull out, pull that part in, flip out the panel, flip the foot in, close that off. Uh, get the arms out of the way if you can. <laughs> and then you have a couple tabs down here, and make sure that Thigh swivels are straight and everything. And then tab that together like that. Next, we're going to want to take this piece right here and rotate it back and tab. There's a couple of tabs. Clear plastic that tab into those slots right there and there. Just like that. And we're going to pull this forward and up. I think, right? Or is it already forward? Oh, it is. Okay, so sorry. We're going to want to pull it up to get it out of the way. Just like that. Next. Right here, you can see when you're going into robot mode, when it swivels, you push it on this peg and it locks in there. So you want to pull that out. That'll allow you to rotate this 180 degrees on the back. You see how it rotates. Uh, flipping this, it was in. You want to flip it 180 degrees out just to make room. Then you go in here. You want to push the shoulder pads in. Just like that. And then you want to take these little hooks and you want to stick them behind there. Locking that in together there. Locking this in together here. Next. And this is pretty interesting because if you're having trouble to get this down and it's not fitting, you see these parts right here and here? You want to kind of go up and around there. Like that. And like that. That'll allow you to bring this down. You want to take those tabs and go into these slots right there and there. And then you have everything almost perfect. And last but not least, you take the headmaster himself. And what I do is I put his legs like that. Basically break them at the knees forward. That way, and yes, the, I will show you the interior while we're here get the on the right side of the car you do have the steering wheel because we're in europe and then you have the kind of the radio and the dials in the middle you can see the two seats in the middle console and then it almost looks like either a tv screen or like a cell phone charger or something maybe a gps is up here and then you can see those little tabs and the holes in the bottom of the feet on the if you're gonna put i'm gonna put them on the right side just because it's easier for the video for the way the things are set up um you want to take that right foot hole and s slide into that tab and it's a little tricky you kind of have to work it and once you get it in there see 
you can see that. Hopefully you did. Hold it there, and then oh, really should have been paying attention what I was looking at. And of course, we're gonna have trouble getting it in. <laughs> okay, slide that peg in there, and then you just kind of push this back while you're holding that down. And there he is. He's secure in there. And you have two seats, of course. So you have one tab on each side. So you can have two passengers. Next, we take this. We close that down. We take those two tabs right there and slot into those two slots. Make sure everything's pegged together. And last but not least, we go under the underneath, take the chest. It's on a double hinge, pulling down and up at the same time. And then you can tab these two kind of circular things into there. Um, but, I, you know, it's paint, so you might not want to push too hard. But then also, you also want to remember to take his crotch piece and fold this down because it helps the car roll much better. And then when you push it around, you're going to want to make sure it's all tabbed back in again because it likes to untab occasionally. Um, but once you're all done, it's pretty styling. And there you go. You got the Aston Martin. You can see the Aston Martin symbol there on the hood as well as on the trunk. You get these nice tail lights painted in. It's red. Fully painted metallic silver, bright silver. All over the car. You can see the molding. You got the vents on the hood for the engine. Translucent clear plastic headlights you got the grill kind of done up in this uh, gray plastic and then you can see the bottom kind of vent I guess that would be for the bottom kind of like a spoiler kit almost um, very nice car you can see he's got translucent clear plastic for his windshield rear window and windows side windows and then each window is bordered with this nice black trim which looks really nice. As you can see there, there, and there. Um, all the tires are molded nice tires. We got the rims painted in metallic silver as well. You can see the disc brakes and everything behind those. They're peg on wheels because one popped off on me. And you can see right there anyway. But they're pegged in the right direction. So way to go, Hasbro. See a couple pins here. But all in all, and then remember, he just he got some side rear mirrors as well. You just pull up on the side rear mirrors a little bit, and then lift up on that double hinge, lifting back, and then you get access to the car. Showing you, he rolls very nicely, and you also can take the accessory, and you take the side with the tab. Uh, you go under here. There's a tab right there, and you can. It looks like you can tab in the top one, which would be nice, but you don't. You tab in the lower one. So it leaves a little sticking out. And then if you have this part down, it slots in there nicely. And there you go. But you already have dual exhaust, so it looks a little funny to have that. And it still rolls. No problem with it. So that's good. As you can see, the car rolls really nice. It's just a great little figure. Um, checking out in comparison with... Dark of the Moon Studio Series Sideswipe. There you go with that. So let me know what you think of the review. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more toy reviews. And as always, stay awesome, stay subbed, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace. It's a wrap, guys. I'm out.